Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in the last part, we studied about constructors, right? And before that, we were studying about classes and functions and objects and instances. In this part, we are going to study getters and setters, right? And they're quite uh, interesting subject to learn, right? Interesting topic to learn and that you will find it in this video. So whenever you need to set customize value to a variable, class variable, then you use setters and getters are basically to fetch it. All I know it was, it was confusing to understand by a simple definition, but let's understand them by a simple example. So let me just remove all this or let me just create a new dart pad, right? And let me remove this uh, function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple class as we are just creating. Let me increase the font size. So I'm going to create a simple mathematics class as we just created in the last uh, video also. And in this, I'm going to have a integer numerator, right? And I'm going to have a denominator, int denominator. Okay, int numerator and denominator, right? And in this numerator and denominator, I'm going to initialize the value, right? So I'm going to initialize some, let's say zero, or I'm going to say zero for now. Okay. And I'm going to have a function void print fraction. And it is going to, it is going to be something like this. And it is going to print numerator. upon denominator, right? Let me just format it. And I'm going to create a void main function, which creates a object of this mathematics class. I'm just going to copy it. Mathematics maths is equal to new mathematics, something like this, okay? And now I'm just going to format it. And now what I want to do is I want to uh, like set a value to this numerator and set a value to this denominator. So what I can do is using this object name maths dot, I can access the numerator and I, can, and I can access the denominator and I can also update their values. So numerator value, I'm going to make it five and maths dot denominator value. I'm going to make it let's say seven something like this, right? So if I just format it, this is all correct. And then I'm going to call maths dot print fraction, put semicolon, right? And I can just format it and now I can run it. So obviously I'm going to get five by seven, right? So five by seven, this is my fraction. So over here, what I did, getters and setters are still there. Getters and setters are still there but they are not visible. At least setter is there and it's not currently visible. So let me write the comment. So this is a setter. This is a setter. What I'm doing, I'm setting the values. I'm setting the values of the class variables. That's called a setter. This is a non-customized setter, right? This is a basic setter that I'm going to access the value of a class variable and I want to set it. I'm, I can set it any value that I wish to, right? So this is a non-customized setter. I can have my customized setter too. That I'm going to show you right now how to do it. First of all, let's see a getter also. So over here, if I want to print my numerator, what I'm going to do? Maths dot numerator. And if I want to print my denominator, print maths dot denominator. And let's just run it. So five, seven and five by seven. So this is my getter. This is my getter. What I'm doing, I'm getting the class variable value. Nom numerator, denominator, I'm getting the values. So these are called getter functions. These are called setter functions, right? And they're non-customized. They are just simple getters and setters, right? We can have our customized getters and setters too inside this class. And that I'm going to show you right now, okay? So below this, let's write, uh, below this, let's write void set numerator, I can get a value. I can take a value as a functional parameter int val 
and I'm going to set uh, or then I what I need to do is I need to define this okay this is set and then I cannot have these two va uh, values now okay I cannot have these two values I can have int num int den right and as I'm setting it so over here I'm setting the numerator value so what I'm going to do it num is equal to uh, this value okay I can have a denominator setter so void set denominator 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 yes correct I can get the value and I can set the den value the den value that is my denominator is equal to my val okay and obviously these are going to have certain uh, initial values so I can define them as zero so zero I can have them as zero right and then let's just comment this part and let's not focus on it so let's just remove it for now so this is a numerator setter this is a denominator setter let me just format it so what is it doing is uh, uh, I can have I am having my two values okay let's keep them in mind and obviously I'm going to have them private so if I in, in this is a new thing that you're learning in dart if you have a underscore below uh, like before a variable name or a function name it becomes private right so these this numerator and denominator are now private so I can just set them like this now what I'm doing in these two function is they are the setter functions so set numerator set denominator right this is a function names right so what I'm doing is I'm taking a value from a as a parameter and I'm setting that value to my numerator setting my value as a denominator these are my setter functions so I can say them as setter functions now you will say that what's the difference what's the difference between this setter and this setter it's the same thing you are just assigning the values over here in my setter function I can have customized values let's say whatever numerator I get I want to multiply it by 6 whatever, de whatever denominator I get I want to multiply it by 10 this is a customized setter whatever value I get from my main function as a functional parameter I am multiplying it by something or I can do anything with this value and then set it in this in this case I was just setting it whatever value I was getting I was just setting it but over here I'm I can customize that value and then set it right this is the advantage so these are the two uh, set functions for my numerator and my denominator now let's write getter functions getter functions over here also obviously these are not going to be void they are going to be integers int get numerator return new okay similarly int get denominator and yes I can have I cannot have the same name so uh, what is it saying let's see getters must be declared without a parameter list okay uh, is it something like this I'm just forgetting the syntax and this is going to be denominator and get denominator -ter. correct if I just format it and if I just decrease the font size yes we can see it so these are my two setter functions and these are my two uh, getter functions right and so over here I can also use the shorthand, short, uh, shorthand syntax and instead of writing it like this I can just write it like this and to this also I can write it like this like this so these are my getter functions and these are my setter functions right and now I can uh, utilize them so let's utilize them so maths now uh, let's set the values so you cannot use this set uh, set functions as normal function I cannot write it like this maths dot set numerator or set denominator and give some value like this no it is going to give me a issue see it is going to give me an issue so for setter and getter function you need to write something like this maths uh, dot set numerator set numerator okay suggest me please suggest me yes yeah, set numerator is equal to 5 it is set right now maths dot set denominator is equal to let's say 6 
right? So these are these values are now set. Now if I want to get my values, so print maths dot get denominator get numerator and print maths dot get denominator right so these are set uh yes correct i can just format it and i can just run it let's see what values we get yes 30 and 60 why 30 and 60 my numerator was 5 right i give it to this 5 into 6 30 so my numerator has become 30 so 30 then 6 6 into 10 60 my denominator has become 60 clear i hope this video is clear now you have uh, understood the advantage of using custom setter functions and getter functions because you can play with the values you can play with the setting values you play with the variables and then set them right so this is the advantage of using getters and setters i hope it is clear till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot